Hello, my coffee cakes, and welcome to another Cook With Me Every Plate. Today is Valentine's Day, which is also Galentine's Day, but you'll be seeing this on a Wednesday. So I have my Wonder Woman t-shirt. Um, and I'm a woman that will make you wonder. Wonder where your keys are, wonder where your glasses are, uh, wonder why you're in my presence sometimes. I don't know. Anywho, um, so today we're going to be making something I've never had in my life before. Um, it's uh, We're making Italian sausage uh, gnocchi bake with creamy tomato uh, sauce and mozzarella. Like I said, this is something I've never had before. Um, I know gnocchi is a pasta that is made out of potatoes. So I can't wait to try it. Um, so um, if you're gonna make this at home, um, you're gonna need an onion, a tomato, garlic, pork sausage, Italian seasoning, tomato paste, cream cheese, gnocchi, and uh, shredded mozzarella. Um, so let's get started. Um, so I already, let's see here. So we're gonna heat the boiler, blah, blah, blah. Bring a medium pot of salt water, salted water to a boil, wash and dry produce. Okay, we're gonna have and peel. Uh, okay, so we're gonna peel and finally chop our garlic and we're going to dice the tomato and remove the casing from the sausage. Remember last week, I think we made something with the pork sausage and I said you have, you should, it didn't suggest that, but you should really do that. Okay, so um, H7, I got myself a real knife. I know you've been like ragging on me because I don't have a proper chef's knife. Well, now I have one. So we're going to, so the tomato, we are going to dice the tomato. So yes, we have a real chef's knife. I have to be honest, I'm a little, I'm just slightly um, intimidated by this because if I make a mistake, I don't have a finger anymore. So, okay, so we're going to dice our tomato. Yeah, this thing really cuts like butter. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where my fingers are gonna go if it gets me by accident, right? Bye bye fingers. Remember that, that finger song? Uh, I'm not gonna sing it though. All right, so this is not a good piece. Okay, so our tomato is chopped and ready to go. That thing is finished. Okay, so now now this is the difference between every plate and um, HelloFresh is that with um, HelloFresh, um, they send you um, what you need in regards to the garlic. Um, but in every plate, it's less processed. So in this case, they sent us a whole head of garlic instead of the one clove, which is great because then you have something extra for later on that you could use. But you do not need the whole head of garlic. That would be absolutely insane. So we're going to take our garlic. Look oh, at this knife. Oh, that's like butter. All right. Oops. There we go. Gotcha. Ooh, that garlic is very pungent, which is good. Good to know. And if you know, you know about garlic. I want to take your knife. Go like this. Oops. That's how you get the skins off. Okay. That was very easy. All right. So there you go. So we're peeling our, our clove of garlic. All right. And then with the garlic, we are going to finally chop. I'm pretty sure <laughs> this knife. Ooh, help me. Oh, wow. Whoa. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoops. All right. Okay. Well, this will definitely finally chop anything you like. All right, guys, I hear that the uh, water is boiled, so I'm going to add the gnocchi. I'm pretty sure that's like uh, rice, and you don't need to see that, so I'm going to go put it in. Okay, my coffee cakes. Gnocchi is cooking. Now we're going to finally chop out onion. Wow, did you see that? Wow. Oh, wow, okay. I know you guys like a little onion ASMR, so you'll be getting a little of that. 
So how has your Valentine's Day been? Listen, if you're a single person, don't be sad. Be glad you're not with an a-hole, a booty butt, a douche canoe. You know, that's the worst. That's the worst that could happen, right? So here we go. Let's. this this uh fancy knife i got it on amazon for eight bucks h7 said we needed a, a proper knife well, that's what we got as a proper knife Telling you, this is one thing that HelloFresh is going and, and every plate is going to get you to do is to master the art of chopping onions, make lime crema, and zesting. But today we don't have to zest anything, and we're not making any crema. I know, wow, no crema. We're doing something different today. We're making something a little Italian ish. It's actually Valentine's Day here for me, so um, that's pretty good. So, yeah. That's a lot of onion, my folks. Hmm. Oh, would you look at that? My onions are actually really finely chopped for once. <laughs> Look at that, huh? All right, so the last thing that um, we are going to do um, in the chopping phase is we are going to remove oh, the casings from the sausage, okay? So unfortunately for Frankie, this is not a dish she could have. So I know some people will ask for a uh, Frankie mukbang, but because this is got onions, um, it's not going to work out for her. Oh, there we go. All right. But don't worry, she. We had a very special Valentine's Day breakfast. Uh, we actually had a true Long Island breakfast, which, if you don't know what that is, um, that's a bacon, egg, and cheese. With, ch with ketchup, salt, pepper, ketchup on a roll. All right, so our sausage is, uh, uh, the casings have been removed and I will see you at the pan. Okay, my coffee cake. So we heated some hot, oil, some oil in there and then we're going to be adding our onion. Oops. Okay, all that onion that we finally chopped, I believe. Making sure there's nothing else that doesn't have to go anywhere else. Okay, looks like it's a no. Okay, so we're just going to go with our onion. Look how finely chopped that is. Wow. H7, thank you for the suggestion of getting me a real chef's knife. Yes. And I like it with every video. I have to let y'all know that I am indeed not sponsored by HelloFresh or every plate. Um, I'm open to the idea, of course. <laughs> Um, but we are not sponsored. But there is going to be a coupon code down below for every plate where you could save $20. Okay, it does say we have to add a little salt and pepper, so we're going to use a little adobo. That's what Miss Kelly uses. Sorry, I like a little extra fire in my meals. Okay, so we're going to saute that a little bit. Uh, let's see. We're going to uh, add onions, season with salt and pepper, and then we're going to cook this until this is um, softened uh, four to five minutes. So we shall be back in a few minutes. Ready? Oh, okay, my coffee cakes. The uh, the onion has been cooked. So now we're going to add our um, sausage links that we have uh, removed the casing from, as well as uh, the garlic. That in there. So you don't want to cook garlic first, because garlic burns so easily, so you don't want to add that in the beginning. So we're going to add it here. Okay. 
in. And um, I'm going to take this up. And I'm going to add a packet of Italian seasoning that was, of course, provided to us by every plate. And just going to lay those. I'll just say the fish does look pretty simple. So I hope it's going to be tasty. As simple as it tastes. You know, as, as simple as it is to cook it. I'm hoping it's as simple as it is. But very flavorful, you know? I like that. Something simple but very flavorful. Alright, so we're going to brown the sausage. With the onions and the garlic. I'll we'll be back as soon as this part is done. All right, my coffee cakes. The uh, pork sausage is ready to go. So now we're going to add in our tomato. Okay. Right. As well as a uh, packet of uh, Cola Vita tomato paste, which was provided to us by every place. And once again, we are not sponsored, but open to it. All right, so mix that in. And there you go. Alright. Tomatoes in the pan. Okay, so we're going to um, add a little more salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> and, uh, this time we're going to add a little onion and herb. It's a little something different. There you go. It is an Italian dish. I'm going to add a little bit. I'm going to mix this in. I'm going to add water. Okay. Okay, I'm going to mix it for the tomato paste, you know. So we're doing this until the tomatoes are um, soft. And then we're going to... Okay, I see what we're going to do. Okay. Okay. All right, my coffee cakes, I'll be right back and prepare for the next... Now, once the, once the gnocchi is drained, we're going to stir half, half a cup of reserved pasta cooking water. Okay. There we go. Alright, back to the pan. So we have the cup. And then we're going to add uh, cream cheese. Uh, put the Philadelphia cream cheese at that. Again, not sponsored, but always open to it. Okay. Sorry about that. Very awkward spot. And then we're going to add some butter. It's got, it's got a very heavy smell. Oops. I'm going to add one tablespoon of butter. Oops. All right. And then uh, stir the pan. Okay, into the pan. Um, until thoroughly combined. Okay, so we're going to make sure this is thoroughly combined. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Now, this does um, suggest that you use, you cook this into a pan that could be um, put into the oven, but I don't own one of those. So, um, we are going to transfer this into my Pyrex um, once this is all ready to go into the oven. So, from here, we're still making sure this mixes in. All right. All right, so now, once this is all nice and mixed, we are going to add... Uh, I, did, I did leave a little water in there. Um, this say if, if, it, if the sauce is a little too thick, you could add more water. It tells you to reserve a cup, but in this case, I just I did. Uh, I left a little in the pan too. Uh, nothing is to waste. Okay, so got that going for us. Um, let's see. Are we supposed to taste and uh, season the yonki mix with salt and pepper? Your pan is ovenproof. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go and transfer this to our Pyrex 
Okay. So we'll be right back. Okay, my coffee cakes. I am spooning our mixture um, into my Pyrex. I hope you guys got some some extra spooning time this Valentine's Day. And if you didn't uh, with the person, then you know you got a pet. They're good, good um, cuddle company. Don't worry. If you're single like me, and let me tell you something, folks. I'm single AF. Um, and for a long time, um, after my kids were born and, you know, I left the kid's dad because he was, you know, abusive and things like that, I wanted to rush into finding a relationship. I won't lie, but you know what? You finding your own self is the best thing you could do for yourself. When you learn to love yourself, it's the best love you will have in your life. Be like Stevie Nicks. You know, Stevie Nicks, she does not need Fleetwood Mac, okay? That boyfriend, of, that husband of hers was not very good to her, right? She even made songs about it and made him sing it. Now that is badass, if you ask me. But be like Stevie, okay? Or no, well, you could be like Stevie or just be like yourself. But make sure you're, you know, just love yourself. That's what's important. Okay, so now... It says that we are going to top this with the with mozzarella. And then we're going to put this under the broiler for two to three minutes. So I will see you in two to three minutes. Okay, my coffee cakes, who's ready for your first bite? Yes, yeah, yeah. All right, here you go. Here's a yonky. Oh, they look like little grubs. Mm. Let me see what one tastes like. I've never had this a day in my life. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I like it. Oh, I do. Mmm. Want another bite? Do, 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 do. Here you go, buddies. My coffee cakes. Oh, let me see. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Let me try some of the sausage with yonky. Oh, wow. That's definitely something. There you go. Some sausage. Saucy sausage. Let me see. Let me see. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. That is delicious. Yes. Yes. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Oh, I just can't stop. It tastes so good. You know, it's it, it's not even that like crazy either. It's very simple and it could be remade. At some point I'm gonna do videos where I recreate what I get from HelloFresh, especially the shepherd's pie last week, um, because Isabel said it was good as F. Um, since we can't really swear in our videos. <laughs> and here you go, here, here's another bite. Mmm. 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 All right, my coffee cakes. I love you. If someone hasn't told you they love you today, I'm sending you hugs. And I love you. Thank you for stopping by. Remember, kindness is free, so spread that. Not cooties, social distance, and wear your mask.